I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> no, it's been a minute since the video, hey, was out of town. Guess what? <laughs> Wasn't worried about or caring about social media and it felt great. And it was for good reason. Understand? <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. But with that being said, let's get to it, man. <laughs> so Canelo, <laughs> Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo coming up. Yeah, Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo. Now, the big question is, <laughs> how will the fight go? I know most people feel like Canelo will get an easy victory, et cetera, et cetera. It will be an easy win versus a smaller guy. A lot of questions about Canelo as well, right? When he, when will he fight him? When will he fight that guy, this guy, Benavidez? Is he on steroids? Does he take steroids, right? Certain situations have been pushed under the rug seemingly, but allegedly he's tested positive twice, but all right. Should be an easy fight for Canelo, some may say. Majority may say, but hold up. <laughs> Guess what? Now, do I think Jamel Charlo will beat Canelo? No, I don't. <laughs> but can he? Does he have a chance? Oh, yeah. Let me expound. <laughs> yeah, Jamel Charlo can definitely beat Canelo Alvarez. First of all, Canelo hasn't been looking like the same fighter, right? He hasn't been looking as great <laughs> as he used to be some years ago. <laughs> His last fight, he looked sluggish, a little rusty. A Briton was putting beats on him, catching and hitting him. So is he back motivated because he's fighting Jamel Charlo, a black up-and-coming fighter? Black fighters, let's be real. Now, I know this information may be obtruse, but you have to be able to put your feelings to the side and listen to the facts. Canelo has ducked black fighters for quite some time, especially those who can box etc etc has he ducked them all no in recent years he's fought the trouts right <laughs> heavy can't take that from him he's fought the lauras <laughs> even though the laura beat him heavy period bottom line i don't care what you say rewatch the fight a thousand times canelo lost to laura let's be facts speak facts don't don't be naive don't be prejudiced so Canelo hasn't been looking the same. So Jamero Charlo, depending on the game plan, right? What him and his trainers come up with, if they're smart, I think he has the power to hurt Canelo or affect the fight. So that's a plus for him already. He has the power. Now, I'm not sure what weight class they're fighting at. Matter of fact, let me know, man. Feedback is much appreciated. <laughs> I just know they ready to rumble in September. I'll check on the weight class later, but Jamel Charlo, he has the power to stop Canelo, but the question is, does he have anything else? Will he be able to hit him, get to him? Does he have the footwork, the boxing skills? Because he's going to have to not only outpower Canelo, outphysical him, he's going to have to outbox him. Is he a great boxer? Not in my opinion. I'm just being real. He's more of a brawler. If you ask me, can he improve his boxing? Yes. The question is, will he? Right? Will he, man? Could definitely be a great fight. It could also be a wash. But Jamel Charlo, it depends on what guy shows up. Has he improved? Has he gotten better? Because if not, it's going to be a wash. Canelo going to lace his ass up. He going to look goofy in there, unprepared. And let's be real. Tony Harrison beat him. Not only once, would have beat him twice. If he wouldn't have got lackadaisical, nonchalant, cocky, etc., etc., start doing goofy shit, got caught on the chin, bang! <laughs> Jamel Charlo caught him with a swift one, huh? But that will be the question. Will Jamel Charlo be able to cut off the ring, create angles, tap him in his chin, reach Canelo with the jab, right? <laughs> get in close. Throw power punches, break him down. Is it impossible? No. Once again, do I think Canelo will win? Yeah. But as the fight gets closer, we will see, you know, the game plan, how the fighters look. But Jamel Charlo definitely got a chance, got a shot. This is boxing. 
This is a combat sport, a combat situation. Anybody can get hit. Bang! A swift one on the chin changes everything, correct? Heavy. That's the realm, man. Gotta love it. Huh. Man versus man or woman versus woman. Competing. True competing. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Who wins? One-on-one? -on -one? Imano, Imano. After the fight, respect, right? Hmm. That's how it should be. But it will all depend on Jamel Charlo's game plan walking into that ring. If he comes in trying to bang with Canelo, outbox him looking stupid, trying to fight Canelo's fight, he's going to get beat easily. If he's going to try to box, he better make damn sure he's prepared to box. Or if he's going to try to brawl, he better make sure he's prepared for that as well. He got to pick something and go with it. He can't be second guessing in that ring. He'll get knocked out early. They got to come up with a game plan and stick to it when lose or draw. Now, if you see it's not working, adjustments must be made. But it has to be a main game plan, a smart game plan to beat Canelo. In order to beat Canelo, you got to be able to outwork him, outlast him, and outpunch him and be able to hurt him and outbox him, depending on the fighter. Be vil, be vol, out shrimp, physical, box, all that, all the above. Right? Out power, out physical, out punch. And he hurt Canelo. He was able to hurt him, stop him in his tracks. That was a heavier weight class, though. It'll be different this fight. But Jamel Cholo. He has the athletic ability, has the power. The question is, will it translate to that ring, man? Easier said than done. He's going up against one of the best, Canelo Alvarez. We'll see what happens. Let me know how you feel about it. Fire them comments up. Who you got, Charlo or Canelo? What are fans at, man? Let's talk about it for real. Hm. Let's get it, man. Warrior here. Stay aware. Woo! Hehehe. <laughs>